Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Dark Rise and Order Destroyed. Last episode, we met this little kid here, Joel. Accidentally killed his sister while well, she tried killing us and we killed her. Turns out his sister met this dude right here who is from Alfheim City in Dark Rising 2. And then we got this lady here who's going to take us to the machine. And then we just found Hooper just chilling here. So let's go and speak to this giant Hooper. I am Hooper. I bet you weren't expecting to see me this early into the story. Hooper? You're the one behind all of this. Were you surprised? Let me guess. You were expecting to confront me. i tell you the reason why I'm doing this. Hayden will battle me. Defeat me, save his friend Voltsy, and then we have a happy ending. Well, nope. What's going to happen is, I'll tell you what I want to tell you at my own pace. And then, when I'm ready, I'll kill all of you. Actually, that is a happy ending. For me. Why are you doing all of this? Let me ask you all something. If you all had the power to make the world precisely the way you want it, would you? <laughs> exactly. I don't think of me as a typical lunatic bad guy with power. That's not me at all. I'm simply creating order. My order. All of you standing here before me do not qualify to be a part of the new world. My world. If you're the one who created the world we live in right now, then no. I will never be a part of your world. Prepare to die, you psychotic troll. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a troll. I've trolled Hayden's friend for a long time now. <laughs> nice one. How dare you. I'm ending this right now. Nope. Only on my terms. See ya, suckers. Damn. To be fair, he did troll a, uh, our character from Dark Horizon 1 and 2 pretty bad. Pretending to be a uh, arse. Ooh, another Megastone. Let's take that. Sweet. I understand we just encountered the uh, root of this chaos. However, I'm afraid this is where we part ways. My destination is inside section 13, where my people are waiting for me to return. The machine you will seek is just above this area. Be advised, as some people have reported seeing different images once they're outside the building, where the machine lies. Thank you, Freya. Perhaps we'll meet again and join forces against Hooper. I have a parting gift for you. A Megastone. Oh, already taken it. Shouldn't you hold on to it? No, I'm afraid I have no need for it. All of my Pokemon have already Mega Evolved. Farewell, Hayden. Alright, see ya. You can actually move out of the way then. Uh, I don't think she's going to move. I need to get past her to get to the, uh, the building. Okay, I guess she's not going to move. Oh, I guess I guess she goes in the, uh, the cave when we go up there. But there's an uh, item down here I want to quickly grab. So we have two Mega Stones. I'm going to actually use one of our Mega Stones now. And evolve uh, Absol. I want to see if it actually brings it back to life. Because that would be absolutely amazing. Got a Mega Absol. Come on, please be alive. It's a potion, and it's still not alive. Damn it! Was hoping that would bring it back to life. Guess not, though. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Let's run away from this. Although we should really fight these because we've got quite a few Efers, and we can uh, try and get Frogadier to a Greninja. Let's flamethrower. If we can get a Greninja, that could potentially help us fight Hooper. It's Hooper's Ghost and Psychic, right? And then it goes Dark Psychic when it's Unbound, or is it Psych? Is it Ghost Dark and then Psychic Dark? Do not remember Hooper's typing at all. Like, I know it's typing. I know it, it's Ghost something, and it goes Psychic Dark. This first type in there, I just do not remember at all. An expert, this dude. Mr. Expert can take some flamethrowers, level 27. Almost there, cross. Let's go into Frogadier. Reckon he can take it out. Frost Gold. Nice. Not bad. So close to 38. I really do hope we can get a uh, Greninja. Oh, we're at the uh, all the pits with the machines, I think. But let's quickly go and grab that. I want to get level 38, so we're going to quickly take out a few of these Pokemon. Level 38, sweet. 
And if we're gonna 28, one of that rock smash. Nope. No, thank you. Got a potion. So many small potions. I want supers, man. Anything on this side? Oh, did not mean to go in there. I meant to go walk left, but. Guess we're going inside. Let me quickly leave the place. I want to see if I had to talk to anyone first before I. Yeah, I might talk to these people. Here's this building in front of us brings different vibes with the group. The timid boy over there sees a childhood memory of his. Well, the twins don't see nothing at all. What are you for to this? I don't know, I see a Pokemon gym. Is this an illusion or something? Have the trick by Hooper. You did read the sign, correct? Have this building takes the uh, form of a memory of the person viewing it. They may explain why Granny uh, saw this place as a mansion, while you and everyone else see something different. You know, it's not to scare me with this uh, reading my memory thing of yours. That's the only way you could have known about uh, Granny. Yes, yes, I'm intrigued by the twins, though. I cannot read their memories for some reason. Same thing as I, as if I try to read the uh, memories of a Pokemon, which I cannot. But nonetheless, let's go inside. Yes. Yeah. Let's see what awaits us here. Okay. I guess we're not gonna. Uh, nothing's gonna happen if I talk to these people. I want to. Uh, yeah. Pull them up in item to the left. All right. Let's uh, go. It's like he's seeing something different than I am. They all are. Another Efa. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the ethers now. Actually, I'm going to wait, because we're nearly at the machine. Hopefully, this machine is legit. This machine is supposed to be able to heal our Pokemon, and I want to be able to heal everything. Only a matter of uh, time before we find out. Oh, let's easily take that out of Flamethrower. I've got to start fighting Pokemon now. Going to write a PP. Going to need the PP to fight Pokemon, and... Got a Rhyperia block in the way. Uh, we haven't got... Got Frogger here. That'll do. Let's heal him up though. Oh, please, so we can take this out. I need to run back though, because that item we can grab. Need a rare candy so we can evolve uh, Lucario. We speed back, so it's quite a long way to go. I'm going to leave a Frogger there actually, because we might be able to take out a few weak Pokemon. Although, it seems like a lot of these Pokemon are going to be. Take that out, and we're back. What teams do I actually own? Uh, TM case. Uh, we've got Earthquake. Did not even realise that. A water pulse. Earthquake can come in handy. Uh, I still think I'll use Solar Beam. Not yet, anyway. Come on, this machine better be around us somewhere. Ooh, item up there. Did not mean to use that, but luckily I accidentally skipped U-turn and... Ooh, wow, that was... that was close. Gonna go for a potion now. Did not mean to use U-turn, meant to run away, but I accidentally clicked fight first. Gotta be a bit more careful. So many, like, steel Pokemon in here. <gasps> Rare Candy, nice. Not gonna use the Rare Candy just yet. Gonna hold on to it, so I do not want to, uh... Waste the rare candy, revive in Lucario, and we might find the machine in a second. This machine's gonna heal up. Not Lucario, it's just a random person. Or random undead trainer we can fight. Woohoo! Fletch Linda! Best Pokemon to fight right now, for uh, Frogadier anyway. I quite like this uh, Order Destroyed. I think the story is really interesting. And we kind of hide for Dark Rising 3, which comes out pretty soon. Because I started playing Dark Rising at the perfect time, because like, it must be annoying if you just played Dark Rising 1 when it first came out, because you have to wait for Dark Rising 2, then this uh, little prequel, and then uh, there's Worlds Collide, and then there's Dark Rising 3 coming out. It must be a long wait, where for me, it's just like, cool, I played Dark Rising 1 this year, played Dark Rising 2 <laughs> earlier this year, well, a couple of weeks ago, months ago, and now got this, and then we've got Worlds Collide after, and then hopefully by the time I finish that, we'll have Dark Rising 3. Got the burn. Oh no. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, getting Greninja level 30? Sweet. That is really cool. What's that? Dark Pulse? Yes, we will. 
Goodbye, thief. Let's heal up Greninja. Yeah, I'll keep you out. Got some more undead to fight. It's all good. Hopefully this is the last one. Let's battle. I hope it is. I really do. Oh, there's Hooper again. It's gonna be the right place, right? If there's Hooper. You're not running away this time. The envy consumes you. You're all just jealous of me. What? Why would we be jealous of you? Because I am all of you. Only the superior being. Order is mine. Everything I want, I can make happen. Isn't that the dream of every human? To have the world exactly the way you want it? I have that power now and you're all jealous of me. I'm tired of hearing your mouth already. Where's my friends? What happened to Arceus? Ah, I forgot you don't know the real story. By the way, contradiction much? You say you're tired of hearing my mouth? Yet you ask me a question afterwards. Hooper shakes his head in disappointment. <laughs> you humans, just answer the question. Your friends are all scattered across the world, just like you were. Alone, scared, confused. Need I go on? As for Arceus, <laughs> well, after achieving a plan that took me over a million years, I gotta tell you, Arceus doesn't exist anymore. The same applies to Derigus. I am in control of light and darkness. Good and bad, I control everything now. I must give credit to your friend, Volti, though. But do not fear, I will make a new world, where order is true and there is no good or bad. Just perfection. What do you mean? Where's Volti? What gives you the right to decide what's perfect for us? I'm not telling you. You gotta catch me first. I still don't know what the heck is going on. Let's go, Hayden. The machine is just up ahead. Hey. Is this the machine? Please, they can, like, kill my Pokemon. Hey, okay. So let's try this. Move Pokemon. So we just do this. And then everything should be healed, right? I don't think I have to quit out. I think I've done it right. It's going to take so long to put everything back in. Please say they're healed. Yes. Oh, fully healed. Beautiful. Okay, uh, let's see. We will... Go... I don't know. Let's put XP share on Absol. Give you the mystic water back. I'll give you black glasses, dark type moves for a little bit. Azen, what's up? The kids went on ahead and I stopped you because of an important reason. You've done so well to surprise me at every turn. It's quite impressive, actually. However, it is my turn to assist you as the others did before you in the past. How? The machine above us is what you've been searching for. We found it, yes. But I strongly feel you should keep a few of your Pokemon inside of it. Why would I do that? I need all my Pokemon to survive. I understand that, but I have a very strong feeling of what's to come ahead. I feel a powerful, evil presence is close by. Keep some of your Pokemon inside the machine for safety would be wise. This is just my opinion. But I must tell you, my ability to take power levels never lie. What's ahead is very dangerous. Put some of your Pokemon inside the machine up there and save them for later. Now let's catch up with these kids, shall we? Maybe he's right, I should keep some of my Pokemon here for later. I might find more down the road to use. And having six Pokemon with me will prevent that. Okay, that's a good idea. There we go there, so let's uh, move... Electric... I'm gonna keep these. And that carving will come in handy, being fairy type. Ooh, Pachi Mountain. This is looking pretty cool. How do I get out of here? I love all the music in this game, it's just all so happy, cheery, and it's like such a bad thing going on. How do, how do I get. There we go, we got it. Rare candy, nice. Nice little revive for us. Got two of them. That's why I didn't want to use the revive earlier on because we would have uh, lost a rare candy. 
Dangerous path ahead. Turn back. What is going on? Um, is that Azen Man friends with that bad Pokemon? I just don't know. Oh, damn, okay. Maybe he is? Can't believe this. Damn it, Hayden, we were tricked. Azen is actually working together with that Hooper Pokemon. Oh, God. How can I be fooled so easily? Why, Azen? Azen? Yes, Hayden? An unexpected turn, hmm? Why? You've been working with Hooper this entire time, haven't you? No, actually, me and Hooper had a mutual understanding of one another. That is all. Hey, Hayden. Did you put any of your Pokemon inside the machine? It was all fake. No part of my game. How long did it take you to realize you can't ever get back to the machine? I created the place with my power. It's my world, you know? I put my Cypher in there, damn it! I should never listen to you, Azen. Well, your Cypher is dead now. Azen, you'll pay for this with your own life. Let's battle. As you wish, Hayden. Oh, I'm so happy I only put in a... Uh... What did I put in again? Oh, Electric. Oh my god, that is... That is annoying, actually. That's actually really lucky. Almost put Carpinkin as well. Uh, we will switch out for this. Kind of scared of you. It's going to Igneal. Go for a nice air slash. Kind of fully healed Pokemon right now, though, is fantastic. Woo. All right. One down. How many Pokemon do you have? Absol level 24. Sweet. Uh, Drapion. We can stay in. We've got four Pokemon. Let's go for a flamethrower. Can't believe that's actually. This game is actually quite trolly. I quite like it. This game's really fun. I wish I saved it for this fight though, because in case I lose someone. Clawitzer, let's go into. Man, this is where I wish I had. Electrike. Vacuum wave. Didn't do too much. Oh my god, water causes so much damage. Let's go for a ninja. Oh wow, I've got the um Got the right candy, so I'm not too mad about it. We only have two, so I'll be really careful. Okay, cool. Blazekin, we can just Oh Mega Blazekin, that's sweet. Air slash that. Super effective. Goodbye, Azen. Hopefully you die now. You're dead. Or am I? Oh. Okay. Azen, looks like it's time for you to die. Not! Who decides who lives and who doesn't? It's his world, after all. Hayden, your friend defeated Darragus for me. I just got a Volti along the way with my bag of tricks. Bet you're wondering, where is the real Arceus? After a plan that took me millions of years to complete, I managed to trick the real Arceus and send him to oblivion. Then, there was only Darragus left. Why us, Hooper? Huh? Why did you use us in your plan? Because Volti and Light had the most potential. Volti is the child of the person who defeated Darragus years ago. That part was true. Light is a descendant of trainers who guard, uh, guard Arceus's sacred grounds. You? Huh? You were just a part of it I used for fun. We'll be seeing you again, Hayden. See ya! Oh, damn. Well, I guess it's a great time to uh, end this episode. In the next episode, we'll uh, keep going forward and I guess chase after Hooper and Azen. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.